All right, so this is just going to be a small tidbit because I don't actually have a recipe necessarily. But we talked about making sumac aid out of uh, staghorn sumac here, which is a is a fresh drupal here that I have here. Um, but I also went to um, the uh, Mediterranean, North African, uh, Middle Eastern uh, grocery store that sells commercial sumac, as I had mentioned. So here's some powdered stuff. And it, is, it may be a different species. Um, it's a little darker in here. Um, I think it might even be roasted. Not sure how they process it, but it is sumac. Um, and then here is whole sumac. And again, it looks very similar to what we have here, except they don't have the hairs on them, if you can see here. And it may be just the way that they process it. Uh, and or it might be just the species that they use. So, um, just to let you know that, yeah, I mean, it is used as a culinary um, <clears throat> uh, spice or resource. And I have a mocha jete here, and I've taken the drupals, and I actually use a dehydrator to dehydrate these, or at least try to dehydrate these, um, you know, over about 24 hours. And then you just take your mocha jete or your pistol and mortar and just kind of grind them up. A little bit of time consuming, both picking off the seeds and then grinding them. So I do cheat and I have cheated um, by using my uh, my cool uh, coffee grinder that I actually only use for spices. I don't use for coffee at all. But um, it makes it work a little bit, a little bit easier. Um, I don't know how these got in here. Somebody must have put these in here by mistake. But anyways, um, this is what you get. Just kind of a fine powdery mixture. It is tangy. It does have taste to it. I'm doing my best to pick the stems out of what I've um, what I've harvested. Uh, so it's like I said, it's a little bit of work, a little time consuming, but it may be worth it. And I'll probably, hopefully, I don't know if I get a squirrel or something, a rabbit, raccoon or whatever. Um, I'll save this this the staghorn sumac uh, and try to do a recipe with cooking it that way but in the meantime I just wanted to kind of share with you um, that yeah it is used around the world um, as a spice um, although it may not be the same species as this one but this does this taste are just the same as this does as these do so for the most part um, these can be a little bit more stronger in, in flavor but I think they roast them not sure so anyways, that was just my little small little tidbit on that. I got a lot of work to do, grinding this up, smashing this up, and then um, uh, powder, or pa and then packaging them and storing them for later. Uh, one more thought. <clears throat> okay, for um, <clears throat> these dried wild edibles, um, I use these uh, silicon gel, um, packets and I put them in the, the, the containers or the baggies that I store these in and I'll tell you why um, it had taken me a few seasons to get a significant amount of cattail pollen it's not easy to collect the, the amount that I had and when I went to go use it it had mold in it so the moisture had gotten into the jar and uh, even though it was in the cupboard cool dry place um, it wasn't dry enough, so the mold formed. I wasn't able to use that hard. That that the 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 it was. I was not able to use the um, reward of my hard work. So I would uh, that we have the technology. I I would definitely implore you to try to employ you know silicon gel. I get these off of Amazon and uh, dot com and just you know put them in there just for safekeeping so anyways that's just a little bit of a tip there and we'll go ahead and i got a lot of work to do to process